Welcome back to Coos Podcast, everyone. It's your host, Todd, here with uh, with the amazing Michelle. And today, we're diving into something... Oh, hello, everyone. ...that feels... I'm so excited to be here. ...straight out of the future. AI is making podcasts. I know. And get this. It's mind-blowing, right? You can, too. It really is. It's incredible how this technology is just changing the game. We're talking about turning written content, like articles and even whole d-books, into podcasts. It's almost like magic. Okay, I'll admit... When I first heard about this, I was skeptical. Like, can AI really capture the nuances of a good conversation? Mm -hmm. But then I started digging into Eleven Labs and their new features, especially this thing called Gen FM, and I'm pretty blown away. I know, right? Like, what, what's so fascinating about Gen FM is that it's not just mimicking voices. It's designed to understand the content, break it down, and then have two AI co-hosts discuss it, just like we're doing right now. So for our listeners who are maybe thinking, wait, AI co-hosts, is this like... Those robot voices from old sci-fi movies, it's not like that at all. Not even close. These voices are incredibly realistic. They really are. And the discussions are surprisingly engaging. Exactly. And what's really cool is that Gen FM lives inside Eleven Labs Projects platform, which is already being used to create some seriously impressive stuff. Think um, Discover Daily, a podcast by Perplexity that's completely AI generated. I checked up Discover Daily, and it's wild. It's like having a super smart friend giving you a rundown of the day's most interesting news and facts. And then there's what they're doing with podcasts like um, Huberman Lab and Lex Fridman, using AI to dub them into multiple languages. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a game changer for accessibility. Like, imagine being able to listen to your favorite podcast in your native language, even if it was originally recorded in another. That opens up a world of knowledge and entertainment for so many people. It really does. Yeah. So we've got AI creating entirely new podcasts and translating existing ones. What I'm really curious about is how Gen FM actually works for everyday folks like you and me. Let's say I've got a stack of articles about, I don't know, the latest breakthroughs in renewable energy. I just don't have time to read them all. Hmm. This is where Gen FM really shines. You essentially take those articles, pop them into this editor that's very similar to Google Docs, and then Gen FM goes to work. It analyzes the content, identifies the key points, and then boom, it generates a podcast discussion with two AI co-hosts talking about it. So it's like having your own personal AI study group dissecting these complex topics mm. and presenting them in a way that's easy to understand. Precisely. Like, it's like having a SparkNotes version, but in audio form. Yeah. And tailored specifically to the content you're interested in. And the control you have over the whole process is amazing. You can edit the transcript, swap out the voices of the AI co-hosts if you want, even export the audio and share it with friends or colleagues. It's true. It's incredibly user-friendly. And the fact that Gen FM supports over 30 languages means you could potentially create a podcast in your native language using content from anywhere in the world. Okay, I'm officially geeking out over here. Yeah. The possibilities are endless. And the best part is, you can listen to these Gen FM podcasts on the 11 Reader app, which is available on both iOS and Android. So no matter what kind of phone you got, you're good to go. Yeah, it's really remarkable how accessible they've made this technology. Now, for our, so our listeners who might be wondering, is this going to replace human podcasters? I think it's important to remember that AI is a tool. And like any tool, it can be used in many different ways. That's such a crucial point, Todd. We're not talking about replacing human creativity or connection. Right. What we're seeing is AI being used to uh, augment our abilities to help us learn and process information more effectively and to make knowledge sharing more accessible than ever before. That's a great way to put it. I see this as an opportunity for us to be even more creative and productive. We can use these AI tools to free up our time so we can focus on the things that humans do best, like coming up with original ideas, building relationships, and connecting with each other on a deeper level. Absolutely. It's about finding that synergy between human ingenuity and technological inno innovation. And that's where things get really exciting. I totally agree. Okay, so we've talked about how Gen FM works and the potential it has to transform how we learn and consume information. But let's take a step back for a second and look at the bigger picture. What does the rise of AI-powered podcasting mean for the world of audio content as a whole? That's a great question, and one that we'll be diving into deeper as we, um, as we continue our deep dive. Stay with us, folks. Welcome back, everyone. Before the break, we were talking about the broader impact of AI-powered podcasting, and I think it's helpful to think of it like... Um, like the invention of the printing press. Okay, I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. So before the printing press, knowledge was largely confined to a select few. 
Books were handwritten, expensive, and time-consuming to produce. But the printing press changed all that. It made information more widely accessible, which led to a surge in literacy and a whole new era of intellectual growth. So you're saying AI-powered podcasting could have a similar impact, like it's going to democratize knowledge in a way we haven't seen before. Exactly. Think about it. Right now, we're bombarded with information from all sides. Articles, reports, research papers, even social media posts. It's overwhelming. But what if we could turn all of that written content into easily digestible audio? Hmm. It would be like having a personal assistant summarizing all that information for us. We could listen to it while we're commuting, working out, or even doing chores. It would free up so much time and mental energy. And it's not just about saving time, right? It's about making complex information more accessible to people who might struggle with traditional reading or who simply prefer to learn through listening. That's a great point. I know some people who are brilliant but just don't have the patience to sit down and read a dense report. They'd much rather listen to someone explain it to them in a conversational way. And with Gen FM, you can do just that. You can take those reports, feed them into the system, and have two AI co-hosts break them down for you in a way that's engaging and easy to understand. It's like having a study buddy who's always available and never gets tired of explaining things. And it's not just limited to academic stuff, right? Absolutely. Imagine using Gen FM to stay updated on industry news, listen to summaries of financial reports, or even get caught up on the latest developments in your favorite hobby. The possibilities are endless. I'm also thinking about how this could revolutionize education. Imagine students being able to listen to their textbooks instead of just reading them. It could make learning so much more engaging and accessible. And for teachers, it could be a game changer as well. They could use Gen FM to create like custom audio lessons for their students, tailored to their specific needs and learning styles. Okay, now I'm really getting excited about this, but I do have one question. What about the human element? Won't we lose something if we rely too much on AI to create and deliver content? That's a valid concern, and it's something we need to be mindful of. But I think it's important to remember that AI is a tool, not a replacement for human connection. Right. It's like the difference between using a calculator and actually understanding the math behind the numbers. Exactly. AI can help us process information more efficiently, but it's up to us to use that information wisely to make connections, to be creative, and to build relationships. So it's not about AI versus humans. It's about AI and humans working together to create something even better than we could alone. That's exactly right. And I think that's where the real magic lies. When we combine the power of AI with human creativity and empathy, we can achieve incredible things. Well said. Now, I know we've been painting a pretty rosy picture of AI-powered podcasting so far, but like with any new technology, there are potential downsides to consider as well, right? Of course. And we'll delve into those right after, um, right after this short break. We're back. And I think it's time to address the elephant in the room, or maybe the robot in the podcast studio. With all this talk about AI, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement, but we also need to be realistic about the potential challenges. Yeah, absolutely. Like with any powerful tool, there's always the risk of misuse. So it's crucial for us to be aware of those risks and to think critically about how we use this technology. So let's talk about those risks. What are some of the things we need to be cautious about when it comes to AI-powered podcasting? Well, I think one of the biggest concerns is the potential for misinformation. With AI voices becoming increasingly realistic, it's becoming easier to create deep fakes, audio recordings that sound like someone said something they never actually did. That's a scary thought. Imagine someone creating a fake podcast episode with your voice saying things you never said. It could damage your reputation or even be used to spread harmful propaganda. Exactly. And with AI-powered podcasting making it easier to create and distribute content, we need to be extra vigilant about verifying information and making sure we're getting our news from trustworthy sources. It's like the old saying, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Well, now we need to add, don't believe everything you hear in a podcast to that. Absolutely. Critical thinking is more important than ever before. We can't just blindly accept information, especially when it comes in audio form. We need to question our sources, look for evidence, and be willing to challenge our own assumptions. It's like being a detective. We need to gather the facts, weigh the evidence, and come to our own conclusions. Right. And another potential challenge is the impact on the podcasting industry as a whole. You know, some people worry that AI-generated podcasts will flood the market making it harder for human creators to stand out and make a living. Hmm, that's a valid concern. But I also think there will always be a demand for authentic human voices and stories. 
Just like people still value handmade crafts, even in a world of mass production, I believe there will always be an audience for podcasts created with genuine human passion and creativity. Yeah, I agree. And I think AI can actually help human creators in many ways. It can free us from tedious tasks like editing and transcription, allowing us to focus more on the creative aspects of podcasting. It's like having a virtual assistant, helping you with the behind the scenes work so you can spend more time brainstorming ideas, interviewing guests, and crafting compelling narratives. Exactly. AI can be a powerful tool for enhancing human creativity, not replacing it. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I think it's safe to say that AI-powered podcasting is a revolutionary technology with the potential to transform how we learn, consume information, and even create content. But like any powerful tool, it comes with both opportunities and challenges. It's true. It's up to us to use this technology responsibly, ethically, and creatively. We need to be aware of the risks, but also embrace the possibilities. We're at the very beginning of this journey, and it's an exciting time to be a part of it. Who knows what incredible podcasts will be created in the years to come. Oh, the future of audio content is wide open, and I can't wait to see what happens next. As always, if you found this podcast helpful, please like, follow, or subscribe. You can find us on Spotify, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Have a lovely day, everyone. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Algorithm stands in the tapestry of time. Weaving solutions with rhythm and rhyme Sensors and signals guide our way Lighting the path to a brighter day Standing at the cusp of transformation Building bridges across each generation Join us as we dive into...